You know, when I think about the Masters University and uh, the reasons why it should be the first choice of any serious Christian, um, are, are so many, I don't think I could go through all of them in a half an hour. I won't do that. But there are several key things. One, the view of the Bible. That is absolutely everything. And I mean that starts in Genesis with a six-day creation. There are about 105 Christian universities in the country, Christian universities. And as far as we can tell, there are about five out of the 105 that believe the Genesis account of creation. The others introduce some evolutionary aspects into it. And so consequently, they start with rejection of the opening of the scripture. I mean, that's the, that's the real test. If you want to find out about what the convictions of a school are, ask them what they believe about Genesis 1 and 2, the six-day creation. Because if they're, if they're convinced that science has disproven the narrative of Genesis 1 and 2, then what else could be disproven in Scripture? So the horse is out of the barn at that point. So that, that's where it all starts at the Master's University. Absolute commitment, fidelity to the text of Scripture, and in particular to Genesis, because the conviction that we have about Genesis 1 and 2 being accurate is carried out in the entire science department of our school. And science is a high-end operation at the Master's University. We, we have graduates in graduate schools all over America who've come out of our science program. Uh, even our, our students that go into medical school get a 95% acceptance by the first medical school they apply to because the science is so strong. So we start with that the Bible is absolutely true, even in its description of creation. Secondly, that the Bible teaches a consistent set of doctrines that historically have been understood by the church and have been developed and refined and defended and elaborated on through centuries. So the, the, that's the starting point because now you know what frames the content, the doctrinal conviction, the doctrinal statement, and ours is, what, a dozen pages, very detailed. So it's our fidelity to scripture and it's our fidelity to sound doctrine. And then there's a third aspect, I think, about the Master's University that fits exactly with those, and it is our fidelity to Christ. It is the Master's University. And we're concerned not only about what you learn about the Bible and what you learn about doctrine, but we're concerned that you learn Christ, that you know Christ, that you grow in Christ, grow in grace and the knowledge of Christ, as Peter put it. So th those, th those three things are the primary focus. From there, you go to the, the academics themselves. And I would say this, we, we would set up our faculty man to man, woman to woman, to match any faculty of any university in this country or anywhere in the world in terms of their skill in their discipline, whether it's science, technology, engineering, mathematics, history, music, whatever it is, um, it's the faculty. Look, the university education is two things. It's what are they going to teach, what's the content, and secondly, who are the people who are teaching it? So it's the convictions and the faculty that make an institution what it is. If there's any loose ends among the convictions or the faculty, that, that tears into the to the unity of that education. Um, and I think I would just add one other thing. Um, what happens when you're educated in scripture is laid out by Paul in a simple phrase. He said, the goal of our instruction is love from a pure heart. When you graduate from the Master's University, we, we would like to think you have sound doctrine. You, you believe the truth about the scripture. But we would also like to believe that you love Christ and you love his church and you love his word. When instruction in the Bible is done right, it produces love from a pure heart. That's the goal of our instruction. So I could say that for the university, the goal of our instruction is students who live pure lives and love Christ and love his church and love his people.